Hello and welcome to the tutorial of how to set up your eGauge E3000 family meter device to work with the Watix Energy Analytics platform. Step number zero, you need to buy, to buy your eGauge device and you can do that online. Uh, this is the link and uh, uh, this is the eGauge webpage. Uh, the products that we support is the EG3000 uh, 3000 family. It's a uh, four channel meters which means that you can connect up to 12 current transformers and monitor four three-phase uh, circuits, electric circuits. Step number one, after buying your e-gauge device you uh, connect it, you plug it into the internet and uh, uh, the e-gauge uh, uh, e system provides uh, um, a web interface where you can check that the data is received correctly and is, is sent correctly by the by the e-gauge uh, the, the e device and you can check the values of energy and so on. If the energy is flowing then you're good to step number two uh, and uh, uh, you can start the data integration with Wattix, okay? Uh, before we get into the next step, um, I'll explain briefly uh, how the architecture works. Uh, from one side you have the eGauge web interface, uh, which is the interface that shows the data collected from the, uh, from the, 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 the eGauge device uh, that will be used to uh, push the data to Wattix. And from the other side we have uh, uh, developed a Wattix eGauge gateway interface specifically for the eGauge devices to be mapped in, onto our platform. Okay? So step number two, you need to register the meter in the Wattix dashboard. Um, the first thing to do is to send us a point authorization mandate, which is uh, an, an, an Excel um, an Excel template uh, with your uh, with your meter name and and everything else, and you can do that uh, uh, to by sending an email at supportedwatch.com. Our our partners will be very familiar with the point authorization mandate, or uh, you can also use the admin interface onto the Wattix platform to set up a new meter reference data points. Okay. And the meter reference is what uh, uh, we will need to map uh, that particular data point onto the Wattix platform. Uh, so we need to, uh, you need to remember the chosen meter reference because it will be needed at a later stage. Step number three, you need to set up the integration. Uh, the first thing is uh, to log in to the Wattix eGauge uh, gateway interface using the same credentials that you use for the Wattix uh, platform. So if I click onto this link, I get redirected to this page and uh, I can use the same dashboard credentials. So if I log in here, I can see my device list, um, the device that are waiting for data, ready for mapping and operational. Okay. Uh, if we go back to our presentation, uh, once you have uh, accessed the eGauge gateway, uh, you have to add uh, an eGauge device. Uh, how to add the new a new device? By clicking on, on this button, on, on this link. And that will bring you to this page on the Wattix eGauge uh, gateway interface where you will have to add the device ID. You have to choose your unique device ID here, okay? Uh, and the time zone where the device is located. And make sure that the device ID is a uniquely identifier for your device. Then you click create. And once you create, uh, the, the, your eGauge device ID will be mapped here uh, as waiting for data. Now, uh, this is on the Wattix side, so we now have to go back to the eGauge interface because we have to program the, 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 the eGauge interface to send the data uh, to the platform. Right, so step number four, we go back to the eGauge device mapping and at this point uh, we go to General Setting, Custom and here we have to put the um, HTTPS URL link, which is the egauge.watix.com link, where the, the, the data has to be pushed to. Okay, so once we put the URL and then we save uh, this page, the device, the eGauge device, will start pushing the data regularly to the, uh, the Wattix uh, interface. Once this step is done, the step, step number six is the eGauge data, data mapping. So uh, at this point in time, uh, the Wattix platform has started receiving some data from your device and once the data is received we have now to uh, map the different values that we are receiving from the eGauge device. So we need to uh, edit the device in the gateway interface 
um, and uh, uh, specify the same uh, uh, add a channel with the same meter reference as specified in the point in the initial point authorization mandate okay and map the, the, the data value and then save in other words we have to go on our eGauge Vortex interface click on add channel uh, because the meter is now sending data uh, this add channel button will be clickable uh, before before adding your eGauge device it wasn't clickable uh, once you click uh, on the on the add channel, uh, you'll be redirected to this page. Okay, uh, in this page, you have to insert the meter reference specified in the point authorization mandate, and and then you have the different um, the different values that the the e gauge meter can send to Vortex, such as active power, reactive, apparent power, voltage, current, and so on. And uh, you'll, you have to open each of these drop-down menu to understand exactly uh, the points that are uh, the, the data that has been transmitted to Vortex and um, map uh, the active power on a Vortex side with the, ex the, the, the right parameters that is transmitted by the e-gauge device. Okay, and you do it for all the parameters that you would like uh, Vortex to receive and to display onto your uh, energy analytics dashboard. Um, remember to save and once you've saved the last step is to verify the success of your uh, integration uh, which uh, which means that you need to uh, see if the data is live on your dashboard so you you log in on your on your um, energy analytics platform um, you will have here your organization with the e-gauge meter the site with the e-gauge meter and the e-gauge meter itself and this, the, the name of the organization site and meter uh, are, are the ones that have been specified uh, during the um, point authorization mandate uh, uh, settings uh, of SODAP. And uh, you can use the control panel. And if you see data here uh, flowing, in it, it means that uh, you've done everything correctly. That's everything. Thanks for watching. Be sure to get in touch with us at support at for any technical or other sales information. And uh, I uh, wish you a great day. Thank you very much.